to make sure we lie. It's buffering? I don't think I get a good signal right here. We don't mind me going in and out, but we don't. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and great millstone. We do well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And back out here again, another Tuesday to preach the glorious word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, as it was foreordained in the Holy Scriptures, the service the prophet, somebody get Sirach 36 um, and 15. The servant the prophet will be raised up to sing the new song and preach, all right, this message of salvation and the gospel, all right, which is going to lead to the end of Babylon the Great and the ushering in of a righteous kingdom under the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ through the inspiration of the Most High God, Yahweh, a righteous dominion is gonna be set up on the planet Earth, all right? And that is uh, predicated upon the mercies of David and the throne of David. The tabernacle of David is gonna be established on Earth as it is in heaven. When the Bible talks about the kingdom of heaven, okay, it's talking about the throne of David, which is a government, all right, that's gonna be ran in righteousness that's going to impact the whole entire planet Earth back into righteousness, man. So let's go ahead. Uh, this is Sirach 36 and 15. I'll read it in the GNT version. It says, testify for your people whom you created in the beginning. Right. Fulfill the prophecies that have been spoken right. in read your the, name. Read it again, Jeff. Okay, copy. Sirach 36 and 15. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. And when you read the scriptures, the scriptures say that the elect were chosen from the foundation of the earth. So there are particular men amongst us laboring, doing videos that you just look at as a regular man. But this man was one of those spirits, all right, who were in the floor and, and, and with Yahweh Shai in the beginning as the Allah I am created the heaven and the earth. The true superheroes, the true mighty men, the true gods that are going to rule on the planet earth under Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Sirach 36 and 15, give testimony unto those that, that excuse me, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, right. and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Raise up prophets that have been in thy name. You see, and that's what's happened in these latter days. So in to Jeremiah, the uh, 29th chapter, the Lord will raise up prophets in Babylon, right? And America is getting ready to be destroyed. The Heavenly right. Father is not happy with America. That's right. Okay? That's why he sent the servants to prophets before things happen to warn, okay? The prophets are here to speak the end into existence. You're looking at the end of your world, all right? Right in your face. Lowly, base men who the Heavenly Father has used in the uh, latter days as vessels to bring this word out, man. Which the whole world ain't gonna get this message, okay? Isaiah chapter eight, verse 16. Break it down. Right. Bind up the testimony Seal the law among my disciples. And this goes right back to the very beginning, like what El Yashimon was going into in Sirach the 36th chapter, man. See, it says, bind, it says, bind up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples, man. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking in the spirit through Isaiah. Right, and the disciples weren't around back then. <laughs> exactly. All right. Now, in spirit they were, because the disciples are the ones disciplined in the way of righteousness, right. dedicated to the ways of righteousness. But because they weren't called disciples. Right, exactly until the time of Yahweh Shah in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And that's the ones who ultimately the testimony will be bound amongst uh, uh, in them. Because what did Yahweh Shah tell, all right, his men in Acts the first chapter? Look, you're gonna teach in, 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 in Jerusalem, Samaria, and these different regions, right? But you're also gonna preach in the uttermost parts of the world. In the uttermost part, all right, as the scriptures call it, the hinder part of the earth is the Northwestern Hemisphere. All right, where the tribes primarily have been scattered here. All right, although we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, the tribes primarily are here, and that's why prophecy focuses on America, Babylon the Great. See, and the testimony will be given unto these men to what? Testify against you goddamn devils, man. Testify of evil because we're witnesses through the Holy Spirit. We've been shown something. We've witnessed something. Okay, go ahead. Isaiah 8 and 16. 
abide with the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. Mm -hmm. And that sealing, and that sealing predates all the way back to the very beginning, man. Right. You see? That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 the Lord knoweth them that are his that have that seal. Going also into Revelation the 14th chapter, man. Those that have the Father's name written in their forehead, right? It says, I will wait upon Yahweh that hideth his face from the house of Jacob and will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from Yahweh of hosts. Right, this is a sign and a wonder. Yahweh Shai and the children who've been given unto him, the first fruit spirits, are sent as signs and wonders in Israel. And the average individual who sees us, they're not looking at something good or glorious sent from the Most High. They're looking as if we're the scum and filth of the earth, which that's how we're supposed to look at. And we gladly accepted that. All right? But uh, the elect, those who have ears to hear, are going to understand. Uh, uh, somebody gets Psalms 40 and 3. They're going to understand that this new song being sung is their way back to the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. All right? Yep. Psalms 40 and 3. Mm -hmm. That was a Psalms 40 and 3. And he had put a new song in my mouth. He had put a new song in my mouth. Right? And what is that new song? All right, the, 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 the gospel, man. The understanding of what the prophecy is being unsealed. The 100 percent truth, man. Okay? The, the, the men of the Lord, when you read Revelation the 14th chapter, were sent to sing the end into existence. That chapter ends with the reaper coming. Right? But it also talks about how as we're out preaching this word and preaching against the image, the beast, his karagma, his mark, right? Synonymously, the world, that's the way they're going. So we're getting ready to meet but all head on. Like Elijah, when he uh, had the clash with the prophets of Baal, okay, the final two all right, doctrines in the planet Earth that are going to clash is righteousness and wickedness, man. All right, and we're living in a time when wickedness and evil, all right, is most of itself. As, uh, as it says in the book of, um, of Sodom and Gomorrah, the cry of Sodom has become grievous unto me. When you look at that word cry, it's the clamor, what they're boasting in. Go ahead. Psalms 43. And he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise it to our power, even praise it to our power. We didn't have praise to the power before we woke up. See, we weren't praising Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We knew of God. We knew of a flood, but we didn't know him intimately by his name. We didn't know him intimately by being tied and opened up to his prophecies, man. That's happening in these times through, through, through the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Even praise it to our power, many shall sin and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Right. Many shall see it and shall fear. What are they going to see? The new song being sung. Okay? Are they just literally looking at a song? No. The, the, this, this gospel is like it into a song. Okay? You got two types of noise. You got, you got music and you got noise. Okay? Noise pretty much it, it, it shakes you up and it, it makes you all uncomfortable. When, when something just, a, a big bomb just, you, you know? Music was created to promote uh, 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 productive behavior, constructive behavior, with building. That's what true music was for. That's why the ancient music was more predicated upon uh, 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 instruments, man, being tuned at a particular uh, uh, frequency. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 4. Psalms 40 and 4, bless it. Now, um, go back to Sirach 36, brother. Shall we read that again? Let's do it. Sirach chapter 36, verse 15. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Right. And great. Read that again. Sirach 36 and 15. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. Right and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Right, give testimony unto those that thou possessed from the beginning. So there are men somewhere on the planet Earth who were literally with Yahweh Shai, handpicked by the Most High from the beginning, given to Yahweh Shai as a ride and die body. And to those men were given the word to come on the earth and they're a sacrifice. Okay, they were chosen for the specific purpose of prophesying his word, which in the flesh, all right, it's, it's a beautiful thing, but it comes with a lot of hell. 
That's why it's like unto a sacrifice. That's why when the elect die, it talks about in Revelation 6, that the souls are under the altar. Okay? What was done at the altar? In a, in a, in a physical sense, sacrifice. In the heavens, the elect spirits, it said, uh, who, who had the testimony, it said that they were what? Uh, crying to the heavenly father, basically prophesying in the heavens. They <laughs> even in the heavens prophesying, telling the Lord to bring the end of this place, fighting and crying for their brothers who are down here preaching. And when you're on earth, you're doing the same thing, man. If I may add on to the other point, the scripture says in the book of Psalms, it says, precious in his sight is the blood of his saints. Right. See? So, hey, like the scripture says in Romans, man, we got to give our bodies up as a living sacrifice now on the planet earth, man. Right. And that goes by way of our actions and also by the words that we speak. That's a sacrifice, man. Right. You know? Uh, continue. No, no. Okay. Continuing on to Sirach 36, verse 16. Reward them that wait for thee, right. and let thy prophets be found faithful. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. All right, and when, when, when it's all said and done, what is this for? Read, go up to uh, 14 or 13. Uh, yeah, gather all get that. Because this is the purpose of the Heavenly Father giving the prophets the new song, to come on earth and perfect the saints, to bring the church together via mere speech. We're changing the world via mere speech. All we're doing is talking. <laughs> but it's not of us. It's the power that's sent from on high that we're able to do that. And having this word is a form of spiritual power, man. But wait, there's more. Because we're going to go from glory to glory. You think we just going to preach on YouTube forever? No, man. You think, you think we want to do this forever? No, there's a reward coming, man. That's right, man. Go ahead. Time. Sirach 36 and 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together right. and inherit thou them as from the beginning. As from the beginning. Right. Now, somebody with blue letter pull up Zechariah 12 and 8. Inherit them as if that was at the beginning. What is at the beginning? In the beginning was the word. The word. Oh, wow. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. What is that word, God? Allahayim. Allahayim, right? <laughs> somebody get Ze Zechariah 12 and 8. I got it. This is uh, Zechariah 12 and verse 8. All right, it reads, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Go ahead. And he that is feeble among them, at that day shall be as David. We're going to be mighty. And David was a mighty man. David would beat John Jones' ass with ease. Oh, yeah. Jacob would beat his ass. Jacob was a grappler. Mm -hmm. Jacob That's grappled right. an angel until the sun went down. All angel was right. like, look, man. Right. Well, I, mean, I, I, I guarantee you they wouldn't count in five minute right. rounds. Right. No. It was right. <laughs> Seven. Right. Seven. right. Seven. No, they, 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 they were mighty men, warriors, sons of God. Yeah. Now we're just, we, we had to die like men. Go ahead. And the house of David shall be as God. The house of David shall be as God. Somebody look up that word, God. Right? So he that is feeble amongst us shall be as David, meaning just, just beloved, mighty, complete. But the house of David, which is the 144,000, okay, which all Israel are going to have spiritual bodies and be in the new covenant, but it's going to be something special about the tabernacle of David, man. That's the leadership. That's the government, the first fruits. I and got the it. Lord sent some of them in the earth in this time to preach unto the people, and they don't even get it. Go ahead. It's uh, the word for God here in Zechariah 12 and 8. Right. It's Allahayim. Okay. And the definition you said. Allahayim. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, the, the Muslims worship Allah. That's just a Hebrew word that means power. <laughs> Go ahead. And the definition says rulers, judges, divine ones. Rulers. Judges, divine ones, they they were used to create the earth, and they were made to come on earth and rule it. The original, all right, uh, 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 first fruits of Yahweh, of the Most High God, Yahweh, man. The ones we gave the blueprint to to create this whole thing. In the beginning, the Allah created the heaven and the earth. He's going to give them under the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. All right, the ability to come on earth and set up the paradise as he wanted it to be. Using the wisdom and knowledge, the law, statutes, and commandments being, because people think 
the laws written on us mean just the 613. Right, right. You know, do you understand what that means? The 100% instruction. <laughs> all right. Your auto songs, right. Solomon all those proverbs. Right. And now, when it comes to like sa sacri uh, ceremonial sacrifices, certain things, yeah. All right. But overall, we're just going to be. We're not going to be bound to a. Okay, well, page one. Okay, okay, stone that nigga. Nah. <laughs> it's gonna be automatic. Right. It's gonna be automatic. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be in you. That's what I'm saying. Just like with sin was within us. Like uh what's that? Uh 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 Romans 7. Talk about sin being in us. We want to do right, but we can't. No free will. All that is coming to a head. You see? So righteousness is gonna be in you. So where you can't go, that's what I'm saying. Even if you want it to have it, it's, it's impossible. Right. And that's what we're fighting for. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, everything you do will prosper. Right. Every judgment you make is right. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 is going to come to life. Right. We'll have the ability to stone, all right, judge, bless. Everything is going to be given into the hands of the elect of the Yahweh Shah. That's right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Zechariah 12 and 8 again from the top. Also, in that word, it says um, it, it's applied as a magistrate, which is an officer that, that uh, administers the law. Right. Yep. Yep. Give it the keys. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to, we're trying to, hey, we're trying to enter into that. We're trying to enter into what's promised, man. You know, instead of dying for what's not. You know, like, like bro, Esau ain't promising nothing. He ain't promising nothing but your destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? It's to the point now where he can't even dress it up no more. At least for those that's sincere. You know, let's say, wait, ain't none of the elect gonna be plucked out the Lord's hand, so everybody that's gonna fall to that is supposed to. Right. And Yahweh Shai is making sure that Yahweh Shai was set for the rise and fall of many in Israel, and it all comes out through this word going out through the service of the prophets. What did I ask you? I'm still reading. I'm still reading. Uh, I, got, uh, I had a uh, revelation. Yeah, Revelation 12 and 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. See, that's how we're going to overcome and be delivered out of the hands of Esau. By the blood of the Lamb. That blood was shed. Okay, really it was shed from the foundation of the earth, pursuing the Revelation the 13th chapter. But when it happened on earth in its physical manifestation, all right, that ultimately covered those first fruit spirits as they would have to come into the earth in a, in a, in a, in a, in a very vow state is this flesh so they need we needed a covering okay john 1 and 14 right we talked about how we had to come in the state of your house shot in this place like he did right to do our part to do our part okay again we were just talking about if if this is my uncle and he promises me okay the uh this building that he owns, right? He promises it to me, all right, and says, you'll get this if you graduate uh, 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 college, okay, and work a regular job for three years. After that, then you can have this business, all right, this building, you're good, all right? And he, 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 he pricks his thumb, and he puts some blood on the paper. That, you know, and that's like the cover, right? You still gotta go through college. Yeah. <laughs> You still got to go through college. Right. You still have to uh, work a regular job yep. for three years, and then you get the building. It's already promised, and the blood is the is the binding, you know, agent. All right, which justifies you into having it. But you still have to do our part. We still have to do our part, man. Being sent out into the earth in these latter days is a big part of that. Right. That's the sacrifice, preaching His word and sincerity and truth. All right, and to the end come. It's the ultimate test. He that endured unto the end, not being offended. While you in this evil, decrepit flesh that's subject and prone to sin, okay, the Heavenly Father sent us into the world and gave us the Holy Spirit through a grace spirit so we can be all right, man. Go ahead. Real quick, man, but you mentioned you mentioned how we gotta go do things, right? And right. If you gotta if you got a, a, a will, like the scripture says you gotta give diligence to make your calling in and let you sure, right? Right. Here's a, a yeah, because it's like your uncle's dead and he died. So now that activates the fact that you can get it because he would have to be dead. Right. But you still got your shit to do. Yeah, exactly. You ain't owning, you ain't going in that, that, that building and running it, yeah. telling people we ain't serving this no more. 
Because if, if, right. if, if, if your uncle wanted it like that, as soon as I die, it comes to effect. That's what he would have wrote in there. Right. So if that ain't what he wrote in there, they can't go by nothing but what's in there. Right. This you is know? my blood that was shed for the remission of sins of many, for the elect. So when, you, when he returns, while the whole world is being condemned, that blood is going to cover the elect oh, into being justified into the new covenant. Go ahead. Galatians 4, I'll start at verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, deferreth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all. And an heir is what? An heir is the son of a king. See, but as, a, as an heir, you think a child just gets put right on the throne? No, it's about to go into it. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Woo! You gotta go through a broom stage. Yeah. You gotta raised up. You gotta be that's, raised. Your that's, child just, that's just like when you set up a trust fund for your kid and they can't tell you today 18. You can't give them to it when they 14. Or six. You know, <laughs> you gotta adhere to the contract. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like the governor, the governor oversees the, well, the governor is the one that oversees the possession. Now, ultimately it's given to the heir. But the heir may not be ready to have it yet. He may not be able to handle it yet. So that he's under tutors and governors, right? It says, until the time appointed of the father, even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. Right. Pretty much we was, we were subject to the, we were subject to this flesh. You know, we had to go off, we were, the creature was made subject to vanity. Right, which ultimately is kind of like a, a double captivity, like it was a two-edged sword. Yes, right. Because here it is, we agreed to this covenant to where we were like, okay, we'll do it. Meaning, basically, your righteousness and your way to be right with the Most High is predicated upon you being perfect in that law. But then you're in the flesh. Yeah. That's a double, that's a, that's a two-edged sword. Because he calls it these chains of, uh, these chains of darkness. Right. Chain, the chain restrains you. Like, you, like, you chained up, you held back. Hell, you know? like, bro, we were promised a kingdom before the earth was created. But we had to go through the flood, we got to go through the missiles, and we got to go through everything in between. You know what I'm saying? It was, it's, it's a Lord, it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom of heaven. But it also pleased him to bruise your house. All that had to happen, you know? Like I said, we, bro, you don't call and order food as soon as you hang up the phone, you chewing on some shit. Well, that's what Esau trying to bring. You know? You got to go, you, that's what I'm saying, you got to go through it. Right. And this is a simple concept. Yeah. Okay, but again, like Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, we'll get it. Eventually it's gonna come out. If our gospel be here, it is here to them who are lost. Okay? We ain't gonna waste our grace period arguing back and forth with niggas. Ultimately, we just go tell the truth. Right. Okay, and, and keep going. Prophesying. The mission is to edify the elect. Yep. Oh, the Lord say separate yourself from these people. Right. The Lord give you the right to rebuke and all these different things. You see? It's built it's built in for us to put the word out. And if they hear a forebear, it ain't up to us no more. We did what we were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So when dudes will, uh, so when dudes start dropping like flies, your hands clean. Right. You know? Right. It's a little bit more on this. I read Galatians 4 and 3 again. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. Right. We were bond we were, we were in bondage to that first covenant, basically, which made us through. And we was in, in bondage to what? Rebellion. Failure. See? But well, guess what? Now we have grace. See? We have a grace period where we can not be tied to those technicalities. Because re really think about if we didn't have grace right now and we were under the first covenant. And how many of you worked on the Sabbath within the last three months? <laughs> now the scriptures say if you do that, you're subject to being cut off from your people, being excommunicated, you're not an Israelite no more or you uh, be put to death in a certain situation. So what Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, sacrifice did was it freed you from the bondage of that first contract, entered and gave you a grace period. He paid the bill with his blood, not with you know the $25, no, he paid with his blood. That was the ransom. Okay, go ahead. Verse four, it says, but when the fullness of the times was come, right. The process, the fullness of the times, had, prophecies had to be fulfilled, right? right? But when the fullness of the times was come, the Most High sent forth His Son, right. made of a woman, right. made under the law. Made under the law. And if He was made under the law, He came as a seed, the seed of a man. That little tittle alone, if Yahweh Shai didn't fulfill, if He didn't come through an actual man, He didn't. He wasn't perfect in the law of Moses. That little tittle tittle alone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 5 is the last point. 
It says to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. Mm. And also too, when you go into an adoption, an adoption is a process, man. You know? Right. So we, we're, we, we're being adopted back into, into being being what? Called the sons of God. Right. Through this word, but at this, but that would, all this, all what's going on right now wouldn't have happened until what? Yahweh Shai had to come down on the scene. He had to sacrifice himself, shed his blood, rose from the dead, then ascended back up to the right hand side to what? To let down gifts so that what we have the Holy Spirit right now. In the marriage, in the in the marriage of the Lamb is going to be whenever what? Yahweh Shah returns and what? We're going to be adorned as a bride for a husband at that time, man. Right. The bride First, chamber. Excuse me. The bride chamber. Yeah. That's, in the, that's in the New Testament. It talks <laughs> about the bride chamber. Marriages are consummated in the chamber. Right? When she's ready. When she's made herself ready. They Then that night after a feast where they announced the marriage, they enter and they, you know. <laughs> Ezekiel the 16th chapter goes into that. It says uh, pretty much when uh, 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 pretty much when uh, she developed as a child. We're talking about Israel, but, but when she developed, that's when what she was ready. Right. When she became basically when she passed her puberty, yeah. or basically when she became right. Was that Ezekiel 16? Ezekiel 16. Yeah. So uh, you know, it, it, even with marriage, when it comes to a woman, you know, she could she could have her cycle, but she may not be ready. She may not be ready yet. Right. You know. So you know. Right. Right. Sometimes it, it wasn't that every 12 year old. It's just, oh, oh yeah. Right. 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 A lot of times, the, 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 there was a betrothal period because the particular man who she's promised to would like her to mature more to his liking, learn more about his way, learn his favorite dishes. You know, she don't smell right. Make her bathe in this. You know what I'm saying? You come around me smelling like Walmart lotion. Right. No, take Swap. your ass, okay. take it's, your it's, ass it's, back it's, to the drawing board. Okay, I do. You fine now. I can see, you know, I can see you, you know, but, right, right, right. You got to mature more. Right. Okay? And that's, and that's the thing. It's more, it's more women involved. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you got if you got multiple wives that you're taking care of and you established and all that, you're not itching. You know, that's what I'm saying. She can wait. Even if you're you know, she ain't ready. You know? like, yeah, that's waiting. even in her. I can't yeah. wait until she matures. Yeah. 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 Well, see, yeah. Jeff, hearing this, that's in there too. will say that, well, that this is pedophile talk. But that's the ancient way of the East. I mean, you're not spiritual. Literally, in Ezekiel the 16th chapter, Yah the Most High God, Yahweh, likens Israel to his woman. He literally said, I watched you grow up from a baby. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Until you were ready. They would call him a groomer. Read it. Yep. <laughs> this is uh, Ezekiel <laughs> chapter 16, verse, <laughs> verse 3. It says, and say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and thy mother a Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to, su to supple thee. Right, me and you just basically maybe left on the side of the road. I, I didn't have to take your ass in. I didn't have to make you the chosen people. Go ahead. Yep. It says, thou was not salted at all, nor swallowed at all. None I pity thee to do any of these things unto thee, to have compassion. Read it in the NLT. Okay, kind. Yeah. Ezekiel 16 to 5 in the NLT, it says, no one had the slightest interest in you. Right, nobody wants your ass. Go ahead. No one pitied you or cared for you. Right. On the day you were born, you were unwanted. Right. Don't, yeah. even in this time, <laughs> nobody give a damn about you Israelites, man. Right. You Israelites are always the first to be worried about the heathen nations and their well-being, they don't give a damn about you. No. The only one who, who cares about us enough to tell us we special, we have this great legacy, and tell us of the promise, is the Most High God, Yahweh. Right. Do the prophecy says, man. Go ahead. God, it says, on the day you were born, you were unwanted, dumped in a field and left to die. Right. Man. But I came by and saw you there, helplessly kicking about in your own blood. As you lay there, I said, "Live," and I helped you like, to, and I helped you to thrive like a plant in the field. Live, meaning he gave her the instruction. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. yeah, go ahead. You grew up and became a beautiful jewel. You grew you, up. You grew up and became a beautiful <laughs> jewel. Go ahead. Your breast became full. Your breast, you, 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 you know. <laughs> He's starting to. He, hey. Right, so, right. so is the Most High a groomer? 
Oh, See, when, when, the, when the true intent of the Bible and the way of the East truly comes out, you're going to find out a lot of you Israelites don't believe in Yahweh Bashikam Shah. The God of this world still has a grip on your mind. Go ahead. Yep, it says your breast became full and your and your body hair grew. Your body hair grew. What is body hair? <laughs> oh, nigga, let's talk about the hair on her knuckles. That's what they're going to say. You know women be having hello. Well, it's right there on her knuckles. Oh, they ain't talking about public hair. Yeah. Body hair, man. She, 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 she hit puberty. Niggas are unreasonable. And I see why we went into slavery, man. Dealing with Jake, I see now. Dealing with Jake, I see why the Lord would have to put us on a cargo slave ship and send oh, the white man on a boat to kick your ass. Oh, Christopher Columbus got on a boat to kick ass. Man. The spirit, the spirit was on him to do that. Right. Yep. That was the Lord's spirit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, a chariot guided him here. Yeah. The chariot literally <laughs> guided him. He wrote about it. <laughs> Wow. To come kick ass. Man. Go ahead. God, it says, your, your body hair grew, but you were still naked. Right. And when I passed by again, I saw that you were old enough for love. I saw that you were old enough for love. All right. Go ahead. So I wrapped my cloak around you to cover your nakedness. Right. And declared my marriage vow. Cover your nakedness. Wow. Nakedness, you without leadership. Okay. You without a, 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 a husband to guide you. A shepherd. So he put his cloak, okay, over you, and he. What did he do? It says, and, and declared my marriage vows. The trumpet. In other words, I got it. He declared the marriage vow. Now he covered, covered her, and then he declared, "This is the duties of the marriage we're getting ready to enter into." Exodus 24. And the, the woman, Israel, said, "Yeah, I'll do it." Go ahead. I made a covenant with you, says the Sovereign Lord Yahweh, and you became mine. Right. Uh, continue. I mean, so you brought it out. Well, yeah, that was the, that was the main point about when it said uh, uh, you became old. You became old enough for love. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So pretty much, she be, she was she was ready. But like you said, people hear that. They would hear that. And they start going crazy, going out their mind, calling us uh, 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 rapists and all that other kind of madness, man. He files. You know. But at the end of the day, man, the, the, the Lord, the, you if you don't want to get with the ways, if you don't want to get with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. What do Yahweh shall say? He says, those that those that pretty much, I, if you don't want me to reign over you, I'm gonna bring them hither and slay them for you, man. That's what's getting ready to happen. Right. Get down on the lay down. Yep. It's revelation, go ahead. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Right, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. As a matter of fact, go up. Alright. Um, now it's from salvation. Yeah. Verse 10. This is Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. Now is come salvation. And strength and the kingdom of our God Woo! and the power of our Hamashiach. Right, the power of Hamashiach, Yahweh and the kingdom of heaven is coming. Go ahead. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Who's the accuser of the brethren? You, the, the biblical Edomites. This whole society is an accusation against you Israelites. It's set up that way. Everything is an accusation against you. And he's damn sure crying to the Most High, all right, that you're going off. That's why he funds Jake's folly. To do good, he's he ain't never got no money, but he'll fund a nigga. He'll give a nigga millions of dollars to make a fool out of himself. Right. And to keep Israel in a docile state. Go ahead. Uh, oh yeah. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Right, day and night, they're calling on these different gods. You probably got niggas, demons on ships, 24 hours a day. They're calling on uh, uh, Satan, casting spells on you, okay? Praying for your, your downfall, preparing an assault on you, Get, going through all of your history, finding out where you live. These are the things that's happening. That we, there's things, there's an assault to get you that you have no uh, uh, idea exist. Right. right? Go ahead. Verse 12. Therefore, uh, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Right, so Esau being the end of the world enters into Jacob's kingdom. And how is that going to happen? Okay, read it again. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Through the blood of the Lamb. That's how ultimately, because if how we gonna fight this nigga, man? 
eventually, when Yahweh Shah returns, it's going to be so bad on the earth, we're going to need a covering. Now, in ancient Egypt, it was the blood, all right, with, which hyssop was, was in the blood, which is a purifying agent, okay? You put that over your doorpost, and ultimately, as the plagues came, okay, and the firstborn died and all of that, you were good. Why? Because that blood, okay? Then we were eventually exodus out of Egypt, then we entered the covenant, okay? So as we're, as we're gonna be exodus out of this new Egypt, this time it's the blood of Yahweh Shai, but we still have to go through the point where the plagues happen, Pharaoh comes after us. All of these various different things still gotta happen before we get to the new covenant. This is all we're saying. But that will be done under a grace period, which in the grace period, all right, you're no longer justified by righteousness in the law. You're justified by faith. And faith without works is dead. You couldn't say I'm justified by faith under the first covenant. You needed grace to say that. Okay? And when we get into the new covenant, we're gonna we're not gonna need grace because we're gonna be perfect, man. And these are the promises that are associated with what the Heavenly Father gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right, true dominion, new bodies, all of that is coming. You think the Heavenly Father created this beautiful vessel for it to be just ran down by the white man and weirdos forever? No, this earth, according to the Holy Scriptures, is gonna be replenished, beautified. It was created for our sakes. Right, you think it's gonna be pedos running around in the kingdom? No, you think the, the, because the, the, obviously there's a creator, so you think he, he made it to just be destroyed like this forever? All this hardship forever? No, eventually, Okay, a, a, a righteous government is going to be set up on the earth. And if our gospel be hid, it is hid to those who are lost. Because if you don't want that, and you're not excited to hear that, bye. If you're not excited to hear that, then you got demons on you, yo. I don't even want to go bowling with your dumb ass. <laughs> go ahead. Revelation 12 and 11. Right. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb right. and by the word of their testimony. So they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. All right. Go ahead. And they loved not their lives unto death. Right. So the, the elect don't give a damn about what you devils are coming with, your plans, your, your, your NWO, your boasting and the fact that you're going to attain eternal life via the technology and Everybody's gonna have to do this, scaring people into submission. We, hey, we don't give a damn. If we gotta go back to the, the spirit world, and which I encourage you brothers to do every night, make sure you're okay with that. Make sure you're okay with the fact that if I have to die for this, this truth, I'm gonna do it. Make sure in, in your mind you know that before you go to bed every night. Go to the place. You gotta be fully persuaded in this thing, man. Okay? I had uh, I got uh, I had some. Uh, yeah, I looked up all earlier. Right. You wanted first one first verse before anyway, didn't you? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, I start up. Uh, I'm gonna start at ten. Uh, matter of fact, yeah, I start at ten. This is First Corinthians chapter four, verse ten. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake. We'll start, start up. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, second. Oh, sure. Read what you got. Okay, what you got. okay, come. All right, this is uh, I'm gonna start at First Corinthians 4 and 10. It says, We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but we are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Right, and that word fools, yeah, it means foolish, but it also means mysterion, mysteries. So, what makes us crazy is that the Lord opened up the mysteries to us. Right. So we're crazy enough to take our ass out here and, and, and yell it to the top of the lungs that this is what we've been revealed. That's right. So we've become fools for Hamashiach. Because we know what it is. Go ahead. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Right. Those of you who are watching these videos and being edified, the, the starting with the apostles and the elders, they have to take the brunt of the hell. All right. But, but, the, but the listeners, all right, you get to be edified. So the sacrifice is for the perfecting of the saints, pursuant to Ephesians 4th chapter. That's what this sacrifice is for. 
Okay, go ahead. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. Right, nobody accepts us, okay? Now, people love us in the world, but if they really found out who we really are and who we really thought, oh, yeah, yeah. under the bus you go, you know? But well, some probably be like, I don't give a damn, I love your ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we right. bless. Right, we're working with our own hands, not asking people for anything. We're just doing the work. If people want to help, help. All right? If not, hey, we're going to do the work. Right. Okay? Go ahead. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. Being defamed, being slandered, we entreat. We, 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 we go through these things. Okay? All for what? The, the, the benefit of the elect being gathered and delivered, man. That's the order of salvation. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit sent unto the servants the prophets who are going to preach the word. Okay? Now, the, 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 they're bringing out the scripture that said, you have no need that one teacher do. But clearly, the scripture say in Hebrews, okay, that uh, when you ought to be teachers, you need to be taught again. Right. Clearly, right. we have to teach. That just means, and we'll get that. Uh, 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 that just means, ultimately, you don't need to be persuaded that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah is real no more. When you sit, if you are the elect and you sit with the Holy Spirit, it, it, it's, it's nothing nobody really needs to tell you about the belief in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. But as far as the teaching of the word, you mean you know your character ain't got to be built up. You got to go to the end. You ain't got to learn about the, the different breakdowns in Revelation. You ain't got to listen to a teacher. Thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Thy eyes shall see thy teachers. <laughs> Idiot. Come on, man. See, but how again, any of it is if, if he wasn't talked to you. Right. How do you learn anything without But you're teaching. Hey, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> right. We're going to get that, too. Go ahead. Being defamed, we entreat. Right. We are made as the filth of the world right. and are the offscouring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Hamashiach, Yet have, uh, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, I have begotten you through the gospel. Mm. You see, that don't apply to everybody. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's speaking to a specific group, you know? Right. But that was it on that. Right, right. He got you through the gospel. gospel. The gospel means the good news. Right. So you have to go out here and spread the word and teach the people so they can hear it, so they can be gathered. And uh, in Baruch 5 and 5, it said the word is gathering. You get that, uh, you have no need for the one that made up Baruch 5 and 5. I got something. I got I got gospel Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse uh, 3. Right. Read, read uh, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 3, verse uh, 2. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. It says, but have for nothing. Okay. Verse 1, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, mm. as, as we have received mercy, we faint not. And this, and this, and this ministry is a, is a form of mercy from your own boss now. See, the prophets being on the scene right now, preaching, prophesying, the, the, the mysteries is, is mercy from the Lord, man. You see? But as it says in the book of Jonah, it says that what? Our people forsake their own mercy, man. You know? Right, because the whole nation's under grace. Okay, and only the elect in that grace period have been given the Holy Spirit to recognize, oh shit, I got to change. And actually do what's right in that grace period. The rest of our people are just, uh, 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 when yet a place of liberty was open unto them, they understood it not. Right. Liberty is grace, it's the same thing. Made to be taken and destroyed. Right. Verse 2, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. So you have that going on. Like it's right. adulterating the word of the Lord. Right, adulterating the word of the Lord for your own lust. Creating doctrines that are centered around uh, 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 vengeance and not the true spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Making stupid ass arguments, man. See, that ain't what the elect men of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are gonna do. Right. Okay, they're gonna do it in sincerity. See, certain, certain men are only driven to preach through strife. If there's no strife or some argument, they don't really have the spirit on them to just right. go and do a video to Israel. Mm -hmm. So then they'll create strife and do shit to get your attention. If you start ignoring them, 
they'll go and do some other shit knowing you're going to respond. Right, right. Exactly. It's not going to stop. Right. Just so they, because the two thirds, wicked niggas need the energy of the elect men. But synonymously, we need them too. <laughs> because it, it justifies our walk. That's it. It's for the good. They're enemies for the gospel's sake. Go ahead. Yep, it says, nor handling, verse 2, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the most high. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's what I'm saying. Zechariah 13 and 8. You got the one third, you got the elect, and then you got the two third. You see? It's a difference between the two. Read that again. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got stumbling blocks out throughout the scripture. Yahweh Shai himself is a stumbling block. You see? Just like the elder said earlier, the Lord was brought here for the rise and fall of many. You see? So now when you get to running through these scriptures and you start to be able to plug these things in and they all start to match up, you know, it boosts you more. It's like, okay, okay, the, the Lord gets more and more real every time he reads. You know? Every time he's up with you, you get more out of it. But that word hid in the Greek is kalupto. The definition says to hide, build, to hinder the knowledge of a thing. See? So particular individuals don't have, they don't have the knowledge because it's been hindered. And who's the one do, who's the one that's doing the hindering? Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is, man. If, 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 if the Lord don't want you to get a particular thing, you're not gonna get it, man. Point blank period, right? And then that word lost in the Greek is apulami. Apulami. And the definition here says, it says, those to whom it belongs to perish uh, or to be destroyed. Right. You got certain vessels in the that's here to just just give you hell and be destroyed. That's just the reality of it. Now if they repent, you know, they call on y'all about you not shine, but ultimately. The, the, the niggas are needed for the movie to go right. Yep, yep. Yep. And I'll read verse 4. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. The God of this world. That's why a lot of Israelites can't get what uh, truly uh, being an Israelite. When it comes to really being an Israelite, when it comes to putting on humility, suffering, wrongfully being patient, okay, uh, getting rebuked putting on the elect, okay? They really handle things according to the God of this world. Even particular ancient customs and concepts Jake reject because it doesn't align with the West. As if the West got it right. So Esau got it right, this is how society should be ran. We give you law, statutes, and commandments on how the Heavenly Father ordained things to be handled. And niggas get mad. How do you expect an ancient book to make sense in America? Of course, it's gonna be a shock. But that's where renewing of your mind and maturing in the spirit has to come into play over your emotion, man. Right. The God of this world has a grip over the majority of you Israelites' minds. So he's proved that this is a living document. You don't understand that the, the mystery is not going to get it. Because your common sense has to be in the heavens with the uh, most high son. Or you know, be able to suffer to you to get this mystery. The Lord has to unlock it. Yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say the Lord, the Lord literally has to unlock your mind. Like you right. can't do it on your you own. Yeah, it ain't nothing that you can just do. Like no, the Lord literally has to unlock your right. mind to be able to proceed. Yeah. He gotta knock, you gotta answer, he gotta and then come in and soak with you. But, but he makes you answer. answer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's like, that's what I'm saying. He make you answer. It's all it, it, it all it all comes together, man. For those who are sincere. Right. Right. Uh, uh, I just wanna finish off. It says, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Mm -hmm. See, so the Lord got to, the Lord got to, he got to, he got to let that light. He has to, he has to turn a light bulb on, for lack of better words, man. You know, and most of these people out here, they're completely, they're completely blinded in darkness, man. Right. You know, the, Satan literally has encapsulated the minds of the mass majority of these people. Even those that even those that call themselves Israelites, man. See, because they want to be they want to be comfortable in the ways of the West, which is the ways of this world, which is enmity against the most high. You know? Right. Alright, this is uh first John chapter two, verse twenty-seven. Now this is the argument uh basically in the new covenant it says we would teach no more. 
no man his neighbor. Get that real quick. Hebrews 8 or Jeremiah, whichever one. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8. And I'm going to just jump down straight to the point. And we're going to defend the gospel. Like we be wanting to ignore Jake, but the Lord and the Lord let, allowing these things to happen so edification can come out. Right? But it's not for a tit for tat reasoning, man. Nah. Like I'm not debating you. Like we're just going to do the, do the work. Go ahead. Hebrews 8 and 10. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. After those days. Just like after we were exodus out of Egypt, then we entered into the first covenant. We went in the first covenant right as soon as we exited out of Egypt. Go ahead. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. Right. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. So under, you know, under the first covenant and even now, we're still having to teach our people that eating uh, uh, shrimp is an abomination. Being a mo is an abomination. How to live, the difference between unclean and clean, profane and, and holy. That was the duty of a priest to teach Israel, and we're still doing that. Under the first, under the second covenant, we won't have to teach Israel. Now, the rebuttal to that scripture, as we always bring it out, is this. Go ahead. John chapter 2, verse 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. The anointing. Now, what is the anointing? The anointing is what comes from on high. The Holy Spirit being bestowed upon you. Okay? And everybody has their measure as to what they're given. Their duty, their role. And then we're going to get that in Ephesians. Okay? Read that again. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Right. And ye need not that any man teach you. Right. So they're saying, this is, see, this is proof we're in the second covenant. Right? Because look, we don't have to teach Jake, right? So does this mean that ultimately nobody got to be taught anymore? Listen to the logic. No, this just this mean once you're anointed with the with the under, with the understanding, the heavenly Father put the Spirit on you to believe and have the earn of the Spirit. Nobody needs to tell you Yahweh Bashem Shah is real. However, you're gonna have to grow. <laughs> right? There's particular uh, uh, kinks in your armor that along with, 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 with uh, uh, experience, rebuke, there's things you learn, okay, through teachers that like, like why are videos still going out if, if nobody needs to be taught? So are we in the famine of the word right now? I'm going to say there's too much wrong with that, man. Right. It's right. like, like right. bro, you got, bro, all the Israelite camps is out there on the highways and the byways. Teaching. All of them. Right. Right or wrong? All of them. Right. What are you talking about? Right. Now read it, read that part, read it over again. Come on. John chapter 2, verse 27. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Right. And ye need not that any man teach you, uh -huh. but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, right. and is truth, right. and is no lie, right. and even as it had taught you, ye shall abide in him. Right. And how are, how are you taught? Did Yahweh Shai himself come to you? Give me a piece of that sandwich. Or <laughs> <laughs> can do that, but that's not how it's right. right. How will we prophesy to wake up? Via the Holy Spirit. Right. Your eyes shall see thy teachers, man. Right. The 144,000 being sent out to the earth to sing the new song. Then many will fear the Lord through their message. Because what it is is that people don't really fully understand the power of the Lord to rise. He can put his Holy Spirit in, 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 the, in the flesh of the, these vessels. Right. But it's not our words being spoken. It's the Lord's words through the Spirit being spoken, man. Right. The Lord say, when you when you in the gate, uh, when you at the gates of the nobles, I'm gonna put my words in your mouth. Right. Yeah. He told several prophets, I'm gonna give you the words. Well, he told the disciples back then, <laughs> wait ye at Jerusalem until my spirit will come. Boom. Clover tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's when they got the full understanding. Then they went out as apostles. Right. You see? Because right. the, the knocking, the knocking, when it says uh, uh, I stand at the door and knock, how does the knocking take place? What is the knocking? The knocking is what? You gotta hear the word for the for the knocking to take place and happen. Right, I got a preset. <laughs> Hebrews 5 and 12. 
For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. That's what I'm saying. Proof that it's only one doctrine that's gonna get you delivered, man. And if you don't have that doctrine, hey, you're gonna be destroyed. Man. Right, right. Okay. Again, man, you was taught before. Right. right. So you gotta be retaught now. In these bodies, not mind state. No, right. Man, you can't walk into the world. Educated. Right. A chariot like this, you Right. Bro, real quick. Hebrews 2 and 1. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Woo. So that's going to be through the word going out. Living, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The new song is all about teaching. Right. Okay? Let's prove that doctrine is exact. Right. It says, For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. Because sometimes in this flesh you get simple. Sometimes you need to be reminded. Okay, and what was happening at that time? A lot of the church were depressed because they thought Yahweh Shah's coming meant the throne of David was going to be set up. So a lot of them were all depressed and the book of Hebrews was geared towards galvanizing to understand, to comfort you know, man. We needed him because a lot of Jake was going back to that first covenant way of uh, uh, thinking. Sacrifices, and stuff. sacrifices, uh, you know. So it says, which is the first principles of the most, the, which is the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. You'll have a brother who's on a level; he believes, but he may go through something in his life where he's simple. Right. He believes in Yahweh Bashi but his faith got weak. Look, at that time, you need to be reminded of, 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 of the, the, the first principles of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You need milk. You need to be built up. And that's why the Lord sent what? Teachers. Some prophets, apostles, if you're going to get that. You got, you got something? I got something real quick. John chapter 17, verse... John chapter 17, verse 19, just getting straight to the point. It says, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe. Teach the word, preach the word, be it instant, in season, out of season. Go ahead. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe me through their word. Right. Through their word, man. Whose words? The disciples, man. Those who the Lord put the spirit on what? The Lord, the Lord, the scripture says what? He that believeth upon me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if the words are the spirit and the life, the spirit, the Rakakwadas is the word, how else is the word gonna come out? Through teaching. Right. And that and, the, and for you to receive that's Matthew the 13th chapter, man. The seed that goes on the stony ground, whether it goes into you know, it falls upon the thorns, or it falls upon what? Good seed. That happens by way of the word, man. Teaching. You gotta be a complete dummy. To say that no man, like you don't got to be taught no more. What kind of curriculum, any any kind of curriculum that you but think you with of? The institution, any kind you of curriculum, school, even if you read a book, you're still being taught by some by somebody that had to that to write it down, that knew it already. Right. See what I'm saying? That's a that's a that's a dumb ideology, man. That's right. We have the pride. Yeah. We got the word teacher. Right. It's a uh, didasco. All right. It says to teach, to hold discourse with others in order to instruct them, deliver didactic courses, to be a teacher, to discharge the office of a teacher, conduct oneself as a teacher, right. to teach one, to impart instruction, instill doctrine into one, the thing taught or enjoined, to explain or expound a thing, to teach one something. You see? Teach one something. Okay. Right. We're going to get, uh, uh, now let's get Ephesians, because who will be responsible for doing that? The prophets, which is likened to a spiritual priesthood. Go ahead. Ephesians 4 and 7. But until every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of the Most High. Grace. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. Grace, man. Every, every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the Most High. Go ahead. Yeah, man, that's going to be different. Right. Wherefore, he said, when as ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. Now, what does that mean? 
I'm gonna ask you, what, what, what does that mean to you? You mean conquer death? Right, right, right. But but but, but expound on it more. Meaning um, he didn't decompose. Or right. He wasn't right. Uh, subject right. to physical uh, death. Now who who's in captivity though? Israelites. Right. He led captivity captive because now we're not subject to a physical temple. We're not under the first covenant. He's given us grace. Now he's on high and he's guiding us. Because literally, how will we get out of these chains? You got the, 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 the captivity of the world. Esau ruling. Marriage can be a captivity. A job is captivity. You got captivity within captivity. Then you got the flesh. Right. <laughs> your mind. Right. So, but, but, but through your shy captivity is led captive. When he conquered death, and you were right on that, when he conquered death, okay, the Lord rose him up, and eventually he, he, he broke bread with brothers and sisters 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine that? Man. <laughs> and you got people who don't really even fully believe in the resurrection, but they want to get into all of this, this deep knowledge. Right. Ask yourself that before you go to bed. Do I really believe your Hawashai rose and was living and eating right. and drinking? Right? But he did that. Don't, yeah, because if you don't, this ain't for you. Right, man. because you, the, 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 the whole purpose of the ministry is off. If, if that didn't happen, if you don't believe that, you're through. So he didn't believe it on me as the scripture has said goes so right. far. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> man. Yeah, this, this takes an extreme amount of faith to believe. Go ahead. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. He led captivity captive. <laughs> and gave gifts unto men. And he gave gifts unto men. Now, the gift we have via this grace period is likened to a sacrifice that's accepted by the Most High. Because again, under the first covenant, where were you justified? Righteousness and the law. You needed a high priest to do a sacrifice. See, but now we're free from the bounds of that whole system and given a grace period. And in that grace period, he sent you the Holy Spirit as a gift. And each believer, each individual is given a gift according to the measure the most high through your Halashah set up for you. Go ahead. The gift, part of the gift, the gift, the gift is us being uh, granted access, man. Right. Right. Go Verse ahead. 9, Ephesians 4, 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first right. into the lower parts of the earth? He had to descend first. He had to come down as a man, yep. right? Go through his sacrifice, fulfill his duty. Then he returned back to the right hand side of the father he had to so he had to suffer the cross he had to what be obedient unto death right now it's your turn right. yahweh shah is in the, the, the his first estate already he's in his the, the the body he had in the very beginning he's already in it you're trying to get there we're going to be face to face with him we're going to be just like him first john three okay go ahead verse 11 and he gave some apostles right he gave some apostles and some prophets, uh -huh. and some evangelists, uh -huh. and some pastors and teachers. Right. And, oh boy. Oh no. Not not that the other the other ones were, were, were good enough, but damn, teachers too. Oh wow, what is he doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they come to different measures, man. You gotta have different offices, man, to make it a balance. Right. And you gotta stop doing breakdowns after you eat Doritos and turkey sandwiches. Stretch, yes. breathe, like do some man. breathing exercise before you get and just start saying stuff, man. Put a piece of water in the sandwich. Yeah, remember to put the Dorito in the sandwich. Eat cream. cereal and shit like this with a spoon, then you're going to go unless you don't know that. <laughs> right? You got spirits on you, man, because a lot of the stuff you do the sand is just absolute, it's like stop. You just trying to disagree, bro. <laughs> you looking bad, bro. And that debate was horrible. Okay? And the head left the, the, the younger men there to just fend for themselves. Nigga, you defend my, my gospel. I'm out. Bro, that was a horrible example. Man, that was terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. If anything, I'm going to go out on my sport with the dudes I sent out there to preach that bullshit. Right. I'm with y'all. I'm here. No, oh, but I kept getting kicked out. I've been on the car. I'll, 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 I'll post it. I'll post hey, it. Hey, don't say nothing else till he let me in. 
Yep. Because I know yeah. hey, yeah. Alisar, yeah. <laughs> he's a crazy, you know, but but he's a he, he knows how to, you know, he knows how to he because he, he basically when you watch it, he pretty much manipulated them into saying they don't agree with one another. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And then the one dude was like, he didn't even say bye. You call, he was like, I'm out. Yeah. Like, and then, then another brother got and then, it. Now, now, now he all of a sudden, oh, that other brother got it. Right, the other brother got it. And then the other dude was like, well, I'm, I gotta, I gotta deal with a woman. <laughs> now why couldn't you just say I got some business to handle? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna go deal with a woman. Y'all got it. What? No, that was, that was the That was. But Jake got his car. That was, that was, a, that was a low point. That was a low point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a low yeah. point. God damn. God damn! God damn! God damn! Read that again. He gave some. Ephesians. God damn! Ephesians four. Man, we don't give a damn. And all of that slander, the heavenly Father's gonna deal with you, man. Because that's gonna come a day. You're gonna have to prove. You're gonna have to prove all of the slander, all of the lies, and all of the shit you feed these young individuals and men. It's gonna have to be true. That's right. Okay. Right gonna, the, the, the Lord go, the, the Lord go bring the, okay the angels and, 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 so he, he committed adultery he stole he stole a hundred thousand dollars he did this he did that and if it ain't true then the intended the, the, the intended judgment for what you're trying to uh, blame on somebody and, and put it out there comes up on you yep. looking like hanging around this <laughs> all right so go ahead with your campaigns and all of this bullshit. You look bad, okay? That's right. Read that. Jesus 4 11, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Right, well, I, I committed adultery and the apostles made me do an apology video. This is the type of bullshit. Now, wouldn't that video be out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They ain't taking that video. You think a scoffer yeah. is gonna allow me to get on video and say, I'm sorry, y'all. I fucked the brother white man, you know, I, I, that was the wrong thing to do uh, because, you know, old niggas need calls. Uh, uh, I, you know, I send my flesh. Because. You don't think that that would be up? Yeah, zombie one, but yes, one. Every time they get it, yeah, every time they say something. But then niggas believe yeah. that shit. Yeah. A nigga didn't ask for proof or say, well, other no witnesses, proof. but these niggas are running with that bullshit, man. No proof. And guess what? When the Heavenly Father <laughs> really sends down judgment, hey, that's gonna have to be reckoned, man. And everything else you niggas are doing, man. Go ahead. And he gave some apostles, Ephesians 4 11, he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints, man. Right. So all the saints perfect already. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, perfect, perfect saints. Perfect saints gotta go to work in the morning. Right. Because see, once you seal with the Holy Spirit of promise, it gives you the earnest of the Spirit. Now you know what's coming. The Lord has given you the ability to believe in, the, in, in what, what's coming, the kingdom, you understand the new body is coming, you know the names, but you still gotta be taught. You don't have to be taught. Hey, look, Yahweh Bashan is real. You are Israelite. You sealed with the Holy Spirit of, of, of truth. The, uh, the earnest of the Spirit, which ultimately gives you the understanding of what's to come and something to fight for, man. Right. That's right. Bro, bro, when you completely give up the world, you gotta have something to do. You know what I'm saying? So you leave the world to build yourself up. So you can be ready when this thing get burnt up. You see? It's just gonna be a, I was say, when it's say you gotta endure to the end, learning is a part of that. You're gonna be learning the whole time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Study to show thyself approved. There you go. There you, go. you gotta study to show yourself approved. What does right. it mean to be approved? When you do a video that say understanding the virgin birth, you're teaching somebody. Right. <laughs> right. right. Like, hello. And there are people who believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai that need to see that breakdown. And what does it do? It builds. It builds. It builds yep. their faith, man. Up the top it said for the apostles and some evangelists, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of the outside. Look at the word edifying. Build. That's what I'm saying. The, I would say the 144,000, the elect, all that, I would say all that, all that is, a, is the process that we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? From the time you come in, and it do it to the end, it's gonna be some stuff that happened in the middle. 
You know what I'm saying? That boy's like, bro, you do not order food. You do not order food over the phone. As soon as you hang up the phone, you eat. I mean, unless you got a snack that you don't prepare while you wait for the food. But they gotta cook that shit. The nigga gotta come Uber eats. He got. That's what I'm saying. Gotta shit gas, gotta happen shit. first. Process. Yeah. Process. Shit gotta happen first. This edifying the Greek G three six one nine Wakadome in the Greek, the act of building, building up, edifying, edification. So nobody need to be edified no more. Hey, hey, check it. The act of one who promotes another's growth in Christian Come wisdom, on, bro. See, having his holiness, promoting the growth, promoting the growth, got the growth. He said, "Go from glory to glory." Right. Yeah. I'm going to speak as a child. <laughs> you got to drink the milk gotta, before you can eat strong meat. Bro, huh? we've been, we've been, we saw how I've been in a new covenant for about, what, two months? About a year. Unbelievable, <laughs> <laughs> man. Right. Was it a psalm of three? Unless you got something. I got it. Unless you got it. Uh, Romans chapter 10, verse, <clears throat> excuse me, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they <clears throat> and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Oh, so we still got plenty of work to do, man. Plenty. We still got plenty of work to do, man. And with all the work that we got to do, we still got daily lives and all that, but we don't care about all that. This is the top priority. Love not the what, lives you know what I'm saying? What matter of man ought you, be, uh, 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 ought you to be knowing what's coming? You see, we know the destruction and all that is coming. We know the new bodies and all that is coming, but it ain't. Come on now. Right. Well, that, 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 I was like, all, all the we still living in privacy. Look, Ezekiel 37. That's from the from, from, from dry bones to the kingdom. That chapter ain't over. Right, for real. Right. Jake's still waking up. That's what I'm <laughs> Come on now. By the act of teaching. Yeah. Some being ministers, some being the that's And that's and that's why, that's why, that's why when it comes to when it comes to the precepts, you run out of them when you don't get it. You run out of them when you lying. You see, yeah. when, 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 uh, uh, when you tell them the truth, it's precept upon precept, it's line upon line. We can go all day with this. Right. And there's sometimes you you may understand a particular scripture on a level, but you hear another brother's perspective. Man, it was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you, yep. Every day that happens. Yeah. And it's added up. Yep. Perspectives yeah. that you never really thought about. It. That's being edifying, bro. We right. need teachers, bro. I know damn well I need a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to read you verse uh, 13 and go with it. You need people to guide you and, and to keep you in the, 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 the right mindset. Right. And we can get simple. Go ahead. Why? So we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High until a perfect man, until the measure of the statue of the fulfillment of, of Mashiach. Mm. That's perfect, man. We don't need a teacher, man. That's it. Once again, the scripture talk about us being made right perfect. Now, it's all right. You know? You gotta, I was like, you got to go through something to be made perfect. Right. You know? So when you see a scripture that seems to contradict the whole narrative of the Bible, what do you have to do? You have to, deep, deep. You have to yep. dig deeper, man. Yep. That was ask. Simple, man. Ask. Ask. I was ask. I was just winging. Good to say that. Hey. Ask this person. Right. Where's the message? What you got? Uh, finish this up. Uh, Romans 10 and 15. How shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things, right? But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. My faith is built up here in you, brother's videos. Brother's videos build, help to build and edify. And I saw real quick the so you made faith to build Jeremiah 3 and 15 and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding like bro we, that's that's happening right now that's written you know what I'm saying Ezekiel 9 and 4 is happening right now Jeremiah 30 I mean uh, 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 uh Ezekiel 37 Ezekiel 38 hell this Genesis stuff is still happening fool <laughs> come on now I was saying, I was saying, it says that is the author and finisher of our faith. You know, with him being the author and finisher of our, of our faith, that's what I'm saying. We got to be ready when he come back. How are we in the new covenant he had came back in? Okay, check it. You ain't got no teaching nobody, right? But the Lord's in the book of Luke, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. So he ain't got no teaching. So what, so what the fuck are we going to say? We just out here 
Yeah. It's a rock to so hang the garbage up, and that's the best thing. That's the right. Uh, man. You got to go out with destruction, man. You can that one. I, I, I had that word, uh, V, uh, Sean's age, uh, 74, 62. Speak up. Uh, that, that word, V, in that scripture, song, uh, Strong's age, 70, 74, 62, where I, it says, uh, I just jumped to the point, it says a ruler or a teacher of fig fig figurative. That's what a pastor is. A pastor, a pastor is a, is a teacher. A pastor is a preacher. Right. You know, like a shepherd. What is a shepherd? What What is a shepherd's job? A shepherd's job is to guide the sheep. You think is so? What the sheep is going to be out there? Just they going to are they going to know what direction to go already? They're going to be out there getting destroyed. They're going to be out there getting their asses handed to them by the by the, by the wolves and by the right. different animals. Man. So in the new covenant, we ain't going to need to tell Jake to stop being simple. Right. <laughs> know the Lord. Okay, you know you're not gonna have to deal with the, the, the Jake going off, man. That's what that means. I mean, go ahead. Which is Solomon three and one, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, right? And there shall no torment touch them. There shall no torment touch them, man. See, go ahead. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, right? And that, that's how it's going to be when Revelation 20 and 4 really comes to pass. Because apparently Revelation 20 and 4 already came to pass. So the, the apostles were beheaded for denying the mark and reigned with Yahweh shot for a thousand years as, as priests. Yeah, it said thrones. It said uh, dominion. That means dominance. You think that, so the disciples could have told Rome to stop worshiping idols? and made them to be subject to Leviticus 20 and 13? No. That's coming under the new covenant, man. Go ahead. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Right. And they're going from us to be utterly destruction, but they are in peace. Right, we're at peace, man. The persecution we catch, the certain deaths, particularly some of us got to take at the end of the day, we're at peace about it, man. Right. Thy will be done. What did Yahweh Shai say? He asked the Lord for another way out. I don't get it twisted. He, he, he had to even deal with, you know, the, the, the spirits. You know, where he was like, man, Lord, is there another way? Because he knew what he was getting ready to go through. We know what we get ready to go through. Right. That's why we be in a heavy spirit a lot of times, man. For though they be punished in the sight of men, Yet there's that hope full of immortality. Right, that's what our mind is on, immortality, man. Eternal life. Believing is what's written in the volume of the book. The fear of the Lord. That makes you immortal. Believing in the resurrection. What could stop you if you believe in the resurrection? Think about it. What really can deter your faith if you wholeheartedly believe in that? That's why at the very end of that chapter, in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, what did uh, Paul say? Therefore be, uh, uh, get it. The last verse. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the last verse, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. See, so we gotta be steadfast and unmovable in this thing, man. Because what makes you unmovable is your faith. That's what makes you unmovable. What did, what did Yahweh Shah said? He said that if you got the faith of the, of, of the mustard seeds, you can move a mountain. Right. And a mountain could be, it, it could be, hey, you know what I'm saying? And that mountain, it's going to be kind of heavy, but the mountain like you saw too. That's yeah. it. That's that what I'm talking about. Mount Seer. Right. We're, we're moving <laughs> mountains through the, 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 the hey. word. Bro, this is heavy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, that's that's bro. the facts. We're moving mountains. It said that what? He's going to make Esau, he's going to make Babylon a burnt mountain. But it comes by way of this word being preached, but you gotta have, you gotta really tap in, like the elder said, you gotta tap in to your mindset and understand and know Yahweh Shai conquered death yeah, already. Yeah. Oh, that's that dude, he believes in the virgin birth. Yeah, that's that dude, he threw. Block that dude, he's, he's out of there. Yeah. That's that dude who was with the dude in Arizona. The one who had the dream about a positive heart. Oh, Hell, man. you can't have no chicken, nigga. You gotta get out. You got to go. Hell, man. You, you a crazy, demonic, black man. No, he got to go. Kick that nigga out of the car. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to read it again for you. He, he don't believe we can call him Jesus now. Nigga, bye. <laughs> no, hell no.
First Corinthians 15. Can I start at verse 55 for you? Yes. It says, O death, where is thy sting? See, that's when we're good. Yeah, exactly. Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> dead shall be brought to pass. Just go up. Okay. Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 54. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, which has not happened yet, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Right, and that's in the book of Isaiah, the 25th chapter, in the 8th verse. Death is going to be swallowed up in victory. He's going to wipe away all of the tears off of the face of our people. Should you subject to go home and cry tonight? Right. The world. <laughs> you know? Getting that crying spirit. Yeah, fuck this place, man. Yeah. And it ain't going to be none of that out there. Go ahead. Well, the, not the Lord say he's going to wipe away all tears? Right. Right. Like, right. Yeah, you know? Verse 55. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? See, that's when we are in the new covenant. Yeah. When death no longer has any reign over you. You're not subject to it anymore. Ooh. Right? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to jump over to verse 25 because of this point that you just said. For he must reign so he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Right. Damn. And that's gonna, and when we and that's when we enter into the second covenant. That's the new promise. Yeah. I'm going to write the instruction in. I'll say, don't go to Revelation 2. He took peace from the earth to death or something like that. So well, death and hell followed him in a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's that's the first one. Like, damn. Well, that's 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 the last enemy that Yahweh Shah is going to rule. Yes. Damn, that's death. Right. Right. You see? Esau. Esau's kingdom. But we're still here. That lets us know that it's, it's not fully fulfilled yet. Right? We haven't entered into the marriage, bro. <laughs> we ain't in the marriage yet. Sorry to disappoint you. Marriage, guys. Marriages take place in the secret chambers. Yep. That's why it's called the bride chamber in the book of Matthew. Go ahead. Verse 25, excuse me, verse 56. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Which we're still subject to that. Okay. Now, if you're of the elect, ultimately you're covered, ultimately you're perfect, but we don't know. We don't know if you're of That's why you got to endure it to the end. Right. Yeah, I was like, you, know, sure. you don't just reach a point in your walk where you were like, you know what? I'm in the new covenant, man. Fuck it, I'm good. No, 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 no. no. If I was in the new covenant, I would be at the pool right now. Pool, <laughs> I mean, I would not be arguing with those niggas about me. Right? No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got a server. Right, a beach. I mean, shit, an ocean. Go ahead. Verse 57. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. See, He gave us the victory already. He gave the elect the victory, but the elect still got to go through it. It's a process, man. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Right, be ye steadfast. This chapter starts with the resurrection. <laughs> right. Oh, See? So you got to be immovable, man. Always abounding in the work, go ahead. It says, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the chapter. Right. So you believe what's written in the value of the book, man. You have full faith, all right? Yep. The yeah. whole book, right? Promises, everything. You know what I'm saying? All that thus saith the Lord and read writing on it, you add that, take it away. Right. Stop. Right. While you still can, man. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alizar, so the book of Hebrews can't be validated. Well, who, who wrote Chronicles? That'll be a test for you, Alizar. Who wrote Chronicles? Do you, do you, uh, do you, do you acknowledge Chronicles? Who wrote it? Huh? The book of Hebrews is inspired by Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, and it was Paul's writing, and it was scribed by Timothy, man. Because all of the certain prophets had uh, uh, particular scribes, man. Right. There's nothing written. See, the book of Hebrews pretty much X's out the Levitical priesthood. So that's why Alazar is kind of like, ah, I'm weird. <laughs> Right. Wow. Oh, yeah. Priesthood, I mean, I ain't going to say it failed, but it didn't. Right. You still had, you still, what was the point of doing sacrifices? The point of doing sacrifices was the acknowledgement of sin. Right. We're not going to do sin sacrifices in the kingdom. We'll do ceremonial sacrifices right. for yeah, holy yeah, days and stuff like that. Okay, but we as the Israelites will no longer need a sacrifice for sin. Don't get that goat. We won't need a physical temple. And he said all of that. Yeah, so you really cut your own, <laughs> you cut your own logic. <laughs> right. You know? Uh, I got something for nobody else. 
Bring it out. St. John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. This is Yahweh speaking. So the Lord said that. He said, look, no man can come unto me except the Father draws him unto me. And that's in John. John 6. And yeah. the word draw in the Greek is elbow, I think. It mm -hmm. means to draw from within. To draw from within. Yep. How can you be drawn from within? You have to be, what, educated. Which is already in. Right? Yep. Verse 45. It is, written in the pro it is written in the prophets. Now check this out. It is written in the prophets. And they shall be all taught of the Most High. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. You see that? So when it says that they shall all be taught of the Most High, this is a, this is a process that has to take place, but it's already in you from the beginning. You see that? It's already in you from the beginning. That's why that's why Yahweh Shah said what? He said that uh, 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 no man can pluck them out of my Father's hand. You see? He said, because my father is stronger than he, he's more powerful than everything, and nobody can take him out of his hand. So if you're going to be taught of the Lord, it's already going to be in you to be taught from the Lord, man. That's why the scripture says what? The Lord ordained you a prophet from the womb. It goes back, it goes back that far, man. But it's still a process. That's the whole thing about it. It's still a process. Bro, we had to go through a flood and still got to go through thermonuclear destruction. What about that? A power like that, we want you to understand the true nature. Yeah. So if you understand a power like that, you gotta be taught of it, man. Yeah. So you know what, what not to do, you know what I'm saying? You can get your ass killed. I got a I got a precept just to back y'all up. So Matthew 11 and 25, I'm gonna read it in NLT. It says that that time Yahweh shall pray this prayer, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it please you to do it this way. You brothers got it. You got it. You got you got, in, in yeah. Matthews, how I said something about the little kids going into the, uh, if you're not, it's something in Matthews, if you don't humble yourself as a child. Yeah. So and that's these, like what you're saying right there. Yeah. And these guys aren't, they're not in that spirit to be humble. No. They're, 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 we got this saying in basketball, you got guys who care about winning and you got guys who care about being the man. You can tell by where a dude moves if he cares about winning or being the man because if you care about winning, sometimes you gonna, you say it all the time, you got to take the low. You're not going to get everything you want if, when it's about winning. You're about the body, you're not about yourself. And a lot of guys are self-willed and it shows through the shit that they say and they do. I don't know you. Get away from me, you workers of a nigga. That's gonna happen to somebody, man. Yeah. That's gonna happen to somebody. So with that, we'll give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, 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 by Stop it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.